You are listening to the Food Scientist Podcast. I am your host, Amy Zajac, and I'm here with Danny Sussman. That was a really long pause before we started. I felt like you were testing me. I was. I know. Not really, but yeah. <laughs> it worked as that. Secondary benefit. And Brian Pierce. Well, hello, here everyone. Too. It's I not just Danny. I also passed the test. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have to, like, forcibly hold yourself back from saying something? I haven't had enough sugar this week, so I was oh, good. I was I, I did. Patient. I did. Yeah. For the record, it was the standard five-second pause I do before. <laughs> so I'm, I'm ready to go. Yes. <laughs> Let me add it. Let me yeah. add it. But before we go... We want to remind you, let's get rid of some uh, business up front. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Yeah. we got more stuff Definitely coming on YouTube. YouTube. If nowhere else, YouTube. And don't forget we have a call-in, 402-986-3663. Leave us a review on iTunes or anywhere else you can leave a review. Well, you- Amy, is there a way, an easy way for people to remember that number? Yes. <laughs> 402 Yum Food. Oh, you, excellent. Did you know you can send a text to that you number? You can. Uh, we, we got text one. We've gotten some flirty texts. <laughs> we, yeah. But we don't know if we're for yeah. us or not, but yeah. we'll accept them. New phone, who this? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> so, and then before we get into the meat <laughs> of the episode, oh. we will cover our food news, experiences, then we'll get into hazelnut spread M&Ms. Mm-hmm. Yep. Snickers White, mm-hmm. um, Donuts, they have a new flavor, limited edition, carrot cake. And Daniel brought some chips from Spain that, oh, oh. we've had flavored chips before, but... We've had oh. strong reactions to chips before. Never, never all of us. Never this. like this. You Watch the video, folks. We live streamed the prep, but you can go to YouTube and watch it. It's still oh. out there. If you like uncomfortable Brian face. You will we love this. And if you though. have been hankering for uncomfortable Amy and Danny face. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> if you want to know if you've seen Amy's reactions to coffee mm-hmm. and you want to know what I look like having that kind of reaction, <laughs> we found, you get it. We, we found, found out. Because yeah. for a long time people have like commented that they like watching the videos because you two seem tortured and nothing well, seems to bother and I've me. I've heard people say the videos, even before the live streams, were more mm-hmm. of Danny torturing us and laughing at it. <laughs> right. I, I got mine. Yes. So I know, and the one week that we tortured him was uh, before we started filming, and it was when you were eating a pop tart. Oh yeah, things. that was your horrible torture. That <laughs> was terrible. It was so dry. <laughs> I think you'd rather eat. Well, we'll get to that. Okay. Okay. So I- into the news. I'm going to start off the news because I know it's news the guys won't like, but some other Uh-oh. people will. Oh, is this salad news? No, it's pickle news. Oh no. Vlasic is coming out with pickle chips, and I don't mean like the ones in the jar. And the sauce they're sliced thin. And I don't mean, mean pickle flavored potato chips. Right. They're they're thin sliced pickles that are like fried and then packaged and will be like in the snack food aisle. Ew. Shelf stable. Pickles Why? are not a snack. <laughs> pickles I'm... have always been a flavor that people have loved in snacks. In Whether it's potato snacks, chaps or even in our big plastic dill sunflower seeds. Somebody was paid to say that. Oh. Mm-hmm. He's the chief operating officer, well, executive yeah. vice yeah. president of Canadian. I mean, I mean he's, he's not going to say we've done a lot of stupid things with pickles, but we really outdid ourselves this time. Yeah, pickles themselves are a great snack, essentially. No calories or carbs, but eating pickles out of a conventional jar is inconvenient and messy. And pickle snacks are actually becoming a thing. Oh, you know. So these are in single serve pickle slices and also the vacuum fried pickle chips. That tastes absolutely fantastic. I guess we'll see. I'm, they don't have an exact timeline other than soon. This is edging me dangerously close to telling the pickle story that no, you guys won't let no, me tell. No, hold yourself back because I also have pickle noodles. But, but, oh, but, no. But, 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 but I'm actually looking forward to this. I want to taste oh, it. Yeah, well, oh, we got to move on. Yep, yeah, on to Brian's. Well, list. there's a deli in New Jersey that's making oh, a pickle I, sandwich. I know this one. I know this one, too. Which, you know, you might think, ooh, it's just pickles. No, it is a sandwich with meat and tomatoes and lettuce in a giant pickle yeah, they, as the bread. They slice the giant pickle in half and put well, the That's kind of like the pickle roll-ups they do here. But the pickle oh, roll-ups also that. have, like, the tortilla shell or... I don't know. Whatever it's, I mean, it is. Yeah. The wrap. Oh, I just I can't support. These that. look good to me though. Well, the, the sandwich or the chip? Yeah, the sandwich, really? Both. 
Ooh. But you have to like the pickle. Yeah, no. I, and I like the pickle. I'm we sure know you do. do. That's a different podcast, Amy. <laughs> That's a whole... Mm. Yeah. I have good news, I, though, to say Okay, thank you. I have you. good news. And to get us away from pickles. Mm-hmm. All right, so... Coming out very soon, I believe, at this point. Uh, so this is... I have a lot of Oreo news. There are three yeah. kinds of Oreos I teased on our live stream here. Last week, we were talking about Dairy Queen. So, like, it built up. Um, mm-hmm. Inspired by the uh, 50th anniversary of the moon landing, mm-hmm. Oreo is coming out with Marshmallow Moon Oreos. Interesting. Yes, which have a purple... Um, Cream filling, yeah, and I'm they not, do taste more like marshmallows. I'm not sad. sure why they the moon is the, purple. I think it's it, the, it's the shadow, the, uh, the, yeah. the kind of the grayish, yeah, like the, the night sky, yeah. Uh, and also, the packaging is going to be fluorescent, glow in the dark. Interesting. Yeah. When it, at first, when they said it's glow in the dark, I thought the Oreo was glow oh, in the that dark. Would be like, interesting. How, would, how would you feel about that? Eating a glow in the dark food? I think not be safe. Fun. I think it'd be fun. Can you imagine glow in the dark food? All the possibilities. You know what? Here's what comes to my mind. That means I would have glow in the dark poop. Mm -hmm. Well, I would not worry about that, and I would not test that out. You would, if that happened, I'd worry about it. Why would it test it out? You'd have to poop in the dark. No, you just turn off the light. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't do that. You would. I would just uh, go and flush like normal. Is this the level our podcast is reaching? You know what? This is what Danny does to us. (laughs) Just remind me when it comes to food experiences. I haven't wasn't sure which one I was going to tell. Yeah, you know. Yeah, Uh I know. Remind me that we want Uh, the that experience. Yeah, but there are two more Oreos. Yes, let's get to this in the fall. Uh, there is one that is going to be a golden Oreo mm-hmm. with maple cream. Oh, okay. that could be good. I mean, that's already there's already the maple cream cookies. Yeah, those are really good. Yeah. In Canada, which I, I, I don't think that these are going to be that unique. Canada. Yeah, but you know, it's new Oreo, so we got to talk about it, and we'll have it when they come out. But the last one, uh, there is going to be a new Oreo Thins in a few months coming out. Amy, they are Oreo Thins Latte. Oh, I did see this. <laughs> is that with the chocolate cookie or the golden Yes, one? it is with a chocolate cookie, and the, as is the uh, Marshmallow Moon Oreo, both chocolate. Oh, the Marshmallow Moon Oreos are also going to have a special design on the cookie. That yeah, they look like the moon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and there still are a lot more hey, Oreos coming Is there coming another out. one that just hit the stores this well, week? Well, uh, in parts of the South, I don't know if this is widespread, but I am excited, as are you, about Very. the return of the... The S'moreo! That's not what they call it. Uh, well, yeah, they should. They should, I agree. Of all the places to cheap out on the trademark. Yeah. But I don't the want people looking for Oreo. something called S'moreo on the well, shelves and not finding it. If they go to the store and they see the S'more-flavored Oreo... And they're like, oh, that can't be that, That's not that's the S'moreo. That's not a S'moreo. Well, you know what? Then they don't deserve <laughs> the S'moreo. <laughs> I mean, that's more for us. But I am very excited. That is one of my all-time favorite Oreos. That is one I, of the great Oreos. Yeah, I don't see why it isn't a full-time. Yeah, why cinnamon roll is. But that is. I mean, that one's good microwave. The Smorio is also good microwave, not as good as the cinnamon roll. Could you uh, cinnamon roll microwave into the salad, Strigga salad? I have. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. And my next. New, my news item. So last week, we did an entire episode. On Dairy Queen. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And we sampled all of the new me- items on the menu. Mm-hmm. I got a promotional email from Dairy Queen. <laughs> no way! And um, we missed something. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I was like, wait, what? Oh, so like you just got an advertisement, not something yeah. in their promotional no. marketing team. Okay. No, no, no. This is just like the... You're on <laughs> I the, thought you were surprised I, this news. I installed the app. Oh. Finally. So I could get my decoupons. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. About um, time. How long yeah. have I been talking about this? I know. I still haven't listened to the podcast or watched <laughs> the videos, but you know, we'll get there. Um, the Misty Freeze is back. Do They've you know been the, around. They've, it's got a big, it's back, so it must have been gone. So are you familiar with the Misty Freeze? Oh, wait, Freeze? wait, wait, wait. Maybe not looking at So that. the Misty Freeze so, yeah, is where you take the Misty Slush. Yeah, so the icy type thing. Yep, and you blend that with the soft serve. I, I don't know if I've ever heard of that. Well, according to this email, it's back. Okay. And we totally missed it. Well, it wasn't referenced anywhere. Uh, it must have been somewhere on the menu. I mean, I mean we, we took all the pictures and we, we might scoured. have to go back and we study the pictures to, to see if we missed the Misty Freeze. But 
Because I know that it's not at my Dairy Queen that I frequent. I mean, that's also how the lattes are made, right? It's the it's the ice, but instead of the fruity, icy syrup, they put the coffee syrup and then mm-hmm. the ice cream and they blend it all together. So Brian is quickly running through all of his pictures. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. I, I'm not, I'm actually pulling up my. I pulled Dairy up my Queen DQ app, app and yeah. I, I didn't see. I only went through my. Coupons, though. My coupon. your, your D coupons? Yeah. Oh. I don't so, look for any promos. So, and I realized I've been to Dairy Queen a couple times, and I've never had the barcode scan, so I have no points. Oh, yeah. The the one by our workplace, uh, don't, they don't have okay. a scanner. So. Yeah, you're not missing out. Well, that's um, I am now looking at the menu from when we went, and it goes right across the thing. Moo Latte, Misty Slush, Misty Freeze. <gasps> oh, we did. But they didn't have big signs you know, saying this saying is back. It's back. But... It's back. Okay, well, back shame on us then. Back. Yeah, right. shame but, on. but with so much, I mean, for goodness sakes, we did a whole episode about new things at Dairy Queen, so kind of some, uh, uh, some slack here, folks. <laughs> yeah, so, but you can get that in cherry, grape, strawberry, kiwi, blue raspberry, and I'm thinking lemonade. That's interesting that you can get all the regular misty. <laughs> yeah, you know, all of the flavors, misty slush flavors, just ice cream. they add the ice cream to it and blend. Very strange to me. Do you do you find yourself wanting a misty slush? I want to try it because we're or a bit, not, sorry, not a misty slush, a misty, misty freeze. No, yeah, yeah, slush. I've I've had that before, and it's like an icy. The interesting thing is, my location does not have that obviously because I do not have that decoupon. Uh, I didn't get a decoupon. Oh, okay, it. that was just it was just email. content in the email. Hmm, okay, that said it's back. Interesting. So you'll have to be on the lookout for that. Okay, mm-hmm. the misty yeah. freeze at DQ. All right. So All right. Go. So, um, Danny, you missed yeah. our um, our a live stream that we did last week. I did. I was. Did asleep. you watch it? I. Because uh, Amy and I did uh, drunken milkshakes. And I, I'm aware you did drunken. I, I watched it. You told me that one of our listeners, Heather, complimented me. I'm surprised you haven't watched it all because we and told you several times we talked about you. Yes, and you said you you shared secrets of mine. Oh, and maybe I, I, I don't know. know. Hmm. And so hmm. I made it. Oh, this is what happened. Is I started uh, listening to it, just in headphones, like while other stuff was going on, and I found myself wanting to scream at Amy, <laughs> and I'm like, "This is oh, a podcast." Know our listeners. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> "What did I do in that live stream?" Um, I, like, I think you were talking about cheese curds, and you described them as more mild cheese. They're actually like more dense and you said it was yeah they're dense but that doesn't mean they're sharp i've never had a yeah. cheddar sharp is a good age sharp cheddar cheese well the, or there's gouda. the 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 sharpness but it's actually more dense than cheese and what? you I, it lighter yeah but i meant in taste in any case in, you know me i was just like i can't do this if i can't rebut this live i and i've been listening for 15 minutes and i haven't heard one did, nice thing about me did <laughs> <laughs> 15 minutes of this. Did you not see that random message out of nowhere he sent to both of us about cheese curds? I did. That's what that was about. Well, I know yeah. what that was, that was about, but I didn't understand it. Because yeah, I wasn't made talking cheese about cheese. density. I was talking about flavor. Yeah, but no, they're, it's a they're more. Flavor. No, it's a more rich flavor. If you had a, a mozzarella curd and a piece of mozzarella cheese, the mozzarella curd will be more rich. You actually water it down to make the cheese. Anyways, Anyways, we don't need to have a, a curd know, science. It was he had a curd hey, that's as sharp uh, as an age sharp cheese. That's cheese. a different... This is like going back to the beef These are the discussion. curds I'm talking about. Anyway, they have curds of all different kinds anyway, of cheese flavors, and it's a lighter flavor. Moving on. After we're done recording, we'll talk about yes. how cheese curds become cheese. Uh, it was a fun oh, live stream. Amy, Amy and I made... Uh, well, Amy made a drunken milkshake, some milkshakes with booze. We drank them. I, I knocked the set over at one point, yeah. I think. I didn't get to that. Yeah. So maybe you could go back and watch. But Just um, tell me like what the nice things that were said about me were. I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I, I don't think that happened. Um, but I had another milkshake experience this week. Ooh, do you Yes. Tell. I, for the first time, had a for real. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, do you know what that the is? The convenience like? store milkshake yeah. with the little blender. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. yeah, you and I actually saw those. I'm sorry, I was, I've never gone to gas stations. I uh, I worked at a university. <laughs> you never need to get gas. Yeah. No, I no, like, the in the, conven- in the uh, Like in the convenience store. I know, but you've never gone in? No, why uh, would I have human interaction? No, right? yeah, if, uh, yeah, it, it didn't surprise me at all. Yeah. When I worked for the university in the student center, their uh, convenience store had them. Too, mm, yeah. Which I... 
I never touched it because I felt like if I had one, I would have them every day. Well, like where I work now, there's a soft serve ice cream machine, and if I feel like if I took anything from it, I would um, like have yeah. an afternoon Sunday every but see, day. But it's kind of like it looks like a blizzard where you just grab your cup, you put mm-hmm. it in a little machine, and then you make it and you go pay for it. So I had the uh, cake. I think it was just birthday cake is what they called right. it. Uh, but it tasted like a vanilla cake. It well, tasted probably. like a vanilla milkshake yeah. more than anything, but just a little extra, like a rich vanilla mm-hmm. um, milkshake. But right. it was good. Yeah, I would get one again. They had, I, I was expecting like little bits of cake in it mm-hmm. for some reason, because I guess because there's some that are Chips Ahoy. So I, I want to try that one to see, does it just taste like Chips Ahoy or does it have like cookie pieces in it? How do you mm-hmm. make something taste like a Chips Ahoy cookie? Anyway, um, I so yeah, I, I have finally... Uh, experience Are you going to have another real. one? Yeah, I'm going to try the Chips Ahoy and probably some more, too. Okay, well, I, I'm going to bring us back full circle to Dairy Queen. Okay. My experience. I, uh, since I had to try the Dreamsicle dip cone, mm-hmm. because you guys didn't actually taste it. Oh, well, we tasted it. Taste it. You made we somebody else bite. get it. Yeah, oh, yeah, we tried we were, we had And one you bite. don't like orange flavored right. things. True. And that was fake orange things. It was like orange Julius But flavor. the person that yeah. loves Dreamsicles hated it. Well, I don't think it's... I didn't hate it. It's. It doesn't taste like a dreamsicle, but it, it's a very thin shell of orange flavor, so you actually don't get much of the orange flavor, which is why it doesn't taste like a dreamsicle. Yeah. Which, but you liked it? But like any so dipped cone... So are dipped you saying cone, we're right by not liking it, or did you like it? It tastes like a, a vanilla cone, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's good. No. It tastes like a vanilla cone with an orange rind in it. Not an orange rind. Just a very thin shell of you know, something I, that's not very flavorful. I wonder so if you went to, a, tastes like a, vanilla to cone. a bum DQ if it was a thin... Brian knows the one I went to. That's, it's a quality DQ. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. They, they maybe it's got gypped on the dip. Mm, well, I don't know. I have a picture. Because ours, you know, didn't taste a lot like a dreamsicle either. So it tasted yeah. more like, you know, orange juice. Well, and like any dipped cone with a thin shell, you don't get much of the shell flavor once. I mean... No. I mean, the... the we got enough of it. The key, actually, is to find a, a DQ location that has crunch and then have a dipped cone with crunch. And that will change your life. FYI. So, anyway. Well, I will say that I heard someone say recently they went uh, and got a vanilla cone... Mm-hmm. With just sprinkles dipped in sprinkles. No, that makes sense to me, believe it or not. Because even though it's not going to change the flavor at all, it gives it a little different texture. Are you coming or back around on sprinkles? No, absolutely that's what I've not. always said. No, absolutely sprinkles not. change the texture. And they make well, it if, if you have just a vanilla ice cream cone, um, then that's you know that's something there to give it a little something something. Okay. Oh, we can't let the studio cat has joined us, and I'm not letting her eat the potato chips. <laughs> oh my um, goodness, she yeah. You're supposed to so stay in my lap, studio she cat. Would die. Is it my turn for my food experience? I'll go for it. Yeah. I'm gonna bring us full circle to poop. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> no. Well, I was in Spain. I think you guys talked about that on the, the live stream. Um, and I was like, what experience should I share about Spain? Right. Mm-hmm. It's it's a country where in a lot of places the wine is cheaper than the water. I mean, there's a lot of... And it's good. But, um... You know, I'm fancy. Yes, yeah, you say that. Know. Right, so I thought I'll share a fancy story. Um, we're walking back to the hotel one night. And it was, it was probably like a ten minute walk from the, the train station to our hotel. And... Like, I don't totally have to go to the bathroom. I sort of do. I could make it back. But uh, if I've learned one lesson from Renee, it's like, if you've got to go, go someplace fancy, go someplace nice. Like, if you're in the mall, <laughs> like, if you're in the mall, don't go to, like, the regular mall bathroom. Go to the nicest department store in the mall and use there. Sure. So, sure. sure. So we're walking past the Mandarin Oriental in Barcelona. And I'm like, that's a fancy hotel. Okay. And I'm like, I sort of got to pee. I'm going to go in. <laughs> And I, like, let's check this place out. And I go into the bathroom, and it's, like, perfumed in there. Like, it smells super nice. So I was like, well, if it's like you don't come across this every day, I'm going to poop here. Oh, and, it's like, <laughs> so was like, a food experience? Well, so while, so I do that, and I get a Did text. Did it glow? What? I, <laughs> so I, I get a text from Renee 
because uh, I texted her. I was like, it smells really nice in here. It's not going to be like a second. It's going to be a little. She's, well, then I'm going to the bar and I'm going to get some good cocktails. And it ended up being in a place like full of like, we ended up like going to the bar and having like expensive cocktails. I had like a, a lobster. Um, I'm spacing on a it. A lobster the, cocktail? No, no, no. The like the Japanese bao. Like the the steamed bread, so I had okay. like I had some lobster bao, and uh, I'm trying to think what she, she had like this it was a nice fancy flatbread, and we had some cocktails. But it all it was like the fancy. It was like the most expensive meal we had, just like in like, as snacks, and it was all because of the the poop. bodily functions. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh huh. But it was totally the nicest bathroom. Okay. okay. So there's my uh, oh, Barcelona right. trip report, oh, okay. everybody. Yeah. Uh, moving on. Mm-hmm. No pun intended. I didn't know what else to talk about. But <laughs> no, that's well, cool. Yeah, because we hadn't talked enough up front here about things. No, so, yeah, no. We, need to we, fill some time. we will move on to <laughs> hazelnut spread M&M's. Yeah, these are the newest M&M's. We all know what that means, out. too. Yeah. But it means Nutella. Yeah, Nutella, but they didn't. Not, Nutella must not give their uh, brand name out. They must not partner with a lot of people. I will say before we get into the flavor, the look of them is much more like Skittles and other M and M's. So Danny's little evil trick would work, no. I think, very well in these. No, these are these are. No, these are bigger. These are bigger. These are oh. like yeah. Yeah, these. Mine are were all pretty small. I had one or two bigger ones. These are more like like peanut butter M and M's. Mm-hmm. Maybe so a little bigger than those. The, yeah. yeah, but the other M and M's I don't think look enough like Skittles to. Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, they might be the same size and I'm, shape, I'll, but their colors are different. I'll, I'll get you one day. I know my Skittles. <laughs> Trust me. Now, now we're going to have to see if we can get her. Anyways. You're on your own on that one. <laughs> so these, ta- we're just going to call them Nutella M&Ms. They taste a lot like Nutella. It tastes more sugary. And the me. more, yeah. Yeah, with the you know the extra little shell. The more things that we have that taste like hazelnut spread, the more I realize Nutella is not meant to be eaten alone. It needs something <laughs> to complement it. I love it. Don't get me wrong. It yeah. needs something to complement it. I would say like you've never eaten it by a spoonful. Well, yeah, okay. No, what, yeah. The way you eat it by a spoonful though is using a pretzel as a spoon. I meant a spoon, Danny. I know that, but I'm saying <laughs> if you're gonna do that, get like a pretzel and use your pretzel like a spoon and scoop it up that way. Eaten it by the spoon. I'm sure you have. Like, I'm saying, try it with a pretzel. Like many, many years ago. No, oh, I've done that too, but it's, you know, nothing. Um, Maybe blood yeah, sugar crash. Yeah, I think I did it. And I was like, okay, that, mm. I don't need to do that again. Just scoop it up with a pretzel. Then you'll eat the whole container. But if you were Nutella, would you allow your name on these? No. Mm. They don't taste enough like Nutella to me. Really? Yeah. They don't taste good enough to me. This is, again, like, would you rather have this or, like, just a peanut m and I mean, it's too much, like, eating just Nutella straight up, and I don't know how many people... If you love Nutella enough to do that, go for it. Get these. You'll love them. For me, I need something to go with it. I would love to eat these with peanut butter m ms Okay. You know, I wonder, like, that's something that should happen more. I think we've said they, that before, that they need variety packs. The, of only, the only variety we ever saw was the... The hazelnut and peanut from Europe, and that was just to keep from putting too many expensive hazelnuts, hazelnuts yeah. in there. Right, right. That is interesting. This we, is we could do the thing. hazelnut in the pretzel. That would also be good. Yeah. yeah, and the uh, peanut butter. I mean, even the peanut. You know. Yeah. You know, I, I mix all that, those. Yeah. Just not the mint. It it just needs a little something to go with it. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's just me, but that that's my thought. Like, yeah. I, I was a little disappointed, but you're right. This is this would take a um, a peanut mix and or an M M&M and M mix mm-hmm. and up level it up. Absolutely. You know what else I bet it would do? If you made a like gorp with your M M&M and M mm-hmm. and put this instead oh, that'd of be, yeah, that'd be that would be good. good. But yeah, so, the texture is very much. It's not. I thought it would be harder like a regular M M&M, and M, but this is the texture is a lot like a peanut butter M M&M. and M. So it's a soft, mm-hmm. soft. I mean, as far as M and M's go, soft. But yeah, don't eat the whole bag of these. Mix these in with something else. No. I'm tempted to do that. Because Brian just keeps eating them, though. I mean, they're here. Right. I feel... (laughs) I actually feel a lot better about them now that we've talked about Mm -hmm. it. When I sampled them early, I was just like, oh, these are so boring. But you're right. We just got to mix them in with stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're boring, but they also... They just need a a little... little Right, just like some raisins and peanuts? Well, not raisins. That's that's the cork. No. Yeah. Well, Whatever. Okay, let's not fight. Let's move on to Snickers White. (laughs) It's a white Snickers bar, guys. 
Yeah, it's white of. chocolate. And and it comes in a larger pack, but it's uh, split in two. That's just the... It comes in the regular pack, too. This is just... Regular Snickers come in that two-pack also. Mm. It's just a different yeah. packaging that we bought. So, yeah, I mean, this is... It's called Snickers White, but it's just a Snickers that has white chocolate instead of milk chocolate. Or and it turns kind. out... Uh, we really need to appreciate the milk chocolate. We and really yes. do. <laughs> I, I thought it <laughs> kind of changed the whole taste of the Snickers. Yeah, well, and by change, you mean ruined. Yeah. <laughs> What's interesting is Reese's white chocolate, surprisingly good. Like, very good. Yeah, that's this right. was Maybe shockingly bad. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's because it's got nougat and not all peanut butter. It's, yeah, it's well, just no, it's, regular Snickers has no peanut butter, right? But, well, I meant as opposed to the pe- Reese's that was. Oh, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. The peanut, the Reese's that let the, the peanut, peanut butter, butter yeah. makes yeah, the difference. It, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because it makes the peanut butter, it accentuates it. Is what I'm yeah. right. Yeah. In a regular Snickers, the nougat plays the role of the BS ingredient that tastes like nothing, mm-hmm. and now you have two of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because nougat like doesn't nougat have a lot better. of flavor. Peanut doesn't have a lot of flavor. Caramel, I guess, but there's not a ton of caramel in the Snickers. So the white chocolate, just another mild flavor. This is just a nothing burger. I think you would like this if you were Amish. <laughs> what does what? that have to do with anything? Because you know you don't want too much, you know, excitement. Yeah. I don't think they're. So listening. if you're. So this is only good if you're getting hangry in your buggy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. That's. I mean, who do you think would appreciate it? I don't uh, know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's really all I had to say about it. (laughs) Because even if you really love white chocolate, it's not... (sighs) Right. It's not a good quality white chocolate. It isn't. It isn't. It's just a very plain flavored candy bar at this point. Shall we talk about something better? Yes, please. Before we get into the worst of yeah, it. Yeah, because we actually have a lot of limited edition things. We have, this the, week. We have the carrot cake donuts. Yes, the, the hostess, hostess donuts. donuts. <laughs> uh, yeah, so these are like the crunch. The Is there something else that's with them other than just crunch? Like hazel, not hazelnut. No, no. But they're, they're, yeah. just, they're just called crunch. Okay. Yeah, they have the coconut and... and uh, crunch. Yeah, so it's, it's not the chocolate, cake, it's coffee. not the powdered sugar, it's the other one. <laughs> yeah, it's the Sour one plain. actually... Not the cinnamon. I actually believe it is secretly the best of the donuts, it's, is the crunch. It's I, much better I than agree. I thought it would be. Um, I actually... He's inter- talking about the crunch. Oh. The crunch, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, those I, are underappreciated. I, agree. I actually had a, had a donut hater, and I was like, have you ever had the crunch? No. I'm like, because donuts are not like the world's greatest donuts. No, I don't They're love them. They're not, but how can someone hate them? I mean, the chocolate ones? I, I, you yeah. can guess what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, and so I introduced the the crunch, mm-hmm. and I was like, wow, these are really good. And I'm like, this is like the heroes of the donut world. So the carrot cake is, it starts as like the crunch, mm-hmm. right? It's The best way to describe it is it's the crunch donut. Well, it still has the coconut. Right. But get rid of the kind of plain, like vanilla donut uh-huh. on the inside the and replace it. it. Yeah, and replace it with carrot cake or carrot cake flavored. Yeah, I was gonna say it's carrot cake flavored donut because obviously a cake texture would be different, especially a carrot right. cake texture. <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's it needs to hold its yeah. donut shape. Let's put yeah. it this way: as I'm looking at the ingredients, there's more coconut than carrot. Yeah, it's tasty. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, no, they are good. They are good. Uh, I feel like we had something recently that was carrot cake flavored, and that wasn't that great. And, no, it was uh, an Oreo that was surprisingly carrot cake tasting. The, the, uh, the carrot cake Oreo. Um, but that had the chocolate cookie? No. Remember? No. no. Okay. It really tasted like carrot cake. It didn't make an impression on me, I guess. I remember not being as impressed as I should have been. But you these, could have warmed it up. That these it. would be good warmed up. The donuts would be very good warmed up. Yeah, I don't know that these contain carrot. I didn't take out um, Amy's like inspector gadget. I can do that for you. Smell like carrot. <laughs> the the when you open the bag, it's like ooh. <laughs> this I don't I don't care that much, but I'm pretty sure there's no carrot in those. I did not unless it's in the outside a little bit, but there was no. There's no in orange the flex. Just no, orange there was color. not. No. Um, and I didn't. It, it's it doesn't have that chewiness that a little carrots would have in there. So they might not be healthy. I I was promoting them as the healthy donut <laughs> because they had carrots in them, but I think this is carrot cake flavored. Um, not good for your. Not going to improve your vision. Uh, 
But um, highly recommended. But They're limited what? edition. If the Easter Bunny brought them to you, go ahead and eat them eat with them. pride. You know, these were not in the Easter section of the store. Yeah, there's no carrot listed in the ingredients. Not even natural flavors are listed. Really? Hmm. What, what about artificial flavor? Because there's artificial No, but they smell. list a bunch of other stuff. It okay. says on the front, naturally and artificially okay. flavored. So it must be in there yeah. somewhere. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, no, so, I, I was wrong. There is there is the natural and artificial okay. flavor right if after you, the cinnamon. Yeah, if you do like the carrot cake things, go ahead and get these. You will like them a lot. If you like the crunch donuts, get them. Because I'm not a, like... Yeah. I'm not a. I actually didn't need the magnifying glass. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, <laughs> I can read that fine. I um, I'm not a huge carrot cake fan. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's because I find cream cheese frosting to be overwhelming. Oh, I love cream cheese frosting mm. if it's nice and whipped. I, I there's my problem with cream cheese frosting is one cream cheese, but two there's usually too much of it. It can be overwhelming, or overpowering. And so this doesn't have right any. Of, yeah. And this doesn't have any of it, which I would argue may be the right amount. Yeah, out of the three limited edition things that we had here, like these would be these the ones are, that I would choose. Unless oh, the yes. hazelnut M and M's with other, with you gotta get something else. Speaking of three things, yeah, oh, the chips, Danny, what you inflicted on us. I okay. First of all, I want to say that I also brought apology you peanut did. butter Kit Kat chunkies. I don't chunkies. think even you knew how bad. Yeah, I, I think the shot. Yes, that's too. a cat on the bag. These, I did not. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't think so anyone. So I don't think we've said these are. Nope. These are. They're all potato chips, but one is black truffle, one is caviar, and one is olive and anchovy. The black truffle and caviar are the Torres Selecta brand. Yeah, Torres. Yeah. And the olive oil and anchovy is frit frit ravage. Uh, ravage. He, he got these in Spain. I uh, I was looking for you know just there's lots of interesting snacks there, um, so this is what I call the I have other chips from Spain that we'll have in future episodes. I consider these to be the fancy ones, you know what with the <laughs> caviar and black truffle. Those are expensive yeah. ingredients. They are. And uh, you know olive and anchovy like felt like it would fit as a third. I will say this: the black truffle is uh, that's how it's very aromatic. Yeah. It's a very pungent yes. smell. I Whereas mean, the other two, after smelling that, didn't t- smell no, as pungent. No, not at all. I mean, you know, if you've ever had any, uh, like, French fries with the truffle black oil. truffle, you know, um, you know what that smells like. And this is that extreme. And then some. Yeah. And something else mixed it. I don't know what it is, but it just, oh, Ooh. that was a bad I, waft in the face. So do you like truffle? In small doses, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. I I love it, like because uh, like, it is a very strong flavor. So it is a very strong. Much in there. It is a strong flavor, but I like if you're oh, like real truffle. How's that? Well, sure, <laughs> but like a lot of truffle oil is not, is, real. Is not yeah. real. I know because that, that is the one thing about truffle is that it's actually a really as pungent as it is. It's also really easy to fake and have like a reasonably fake flavor. So you could find like truffle popcorn and like yep. yeah 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 a lot of bar snacks because they can spray the cheap stuff on it but i love all of them i don't even care if it's fake he likes the imitation so you, stuff you like these chips then yeah i yeah. really did like the black truffle yeah, chips. It wasn't, I, it was I was too much yeah it was too much i agree with brian it was mm. then there was the caviar chips and i figured i'd be okay with that number one since the aroma wasn't so strong and number two since i've had caviar i've enjoyed caviar i even eat um sushi with Sushi rolls with caviar on it. Roll, yeah. <laughs> it's fishy. This, I mean, is, it's this yeah. is like the the black caviar. Because uh, some of the other, you know, colors of fish eggs are, mm-hmm. are more red, mild. Yeah. yeah. This, are you going to do it, Brian? I have to eat another one because I kind of forgot what they taste like. Oh, my. This was, of the chips, the worst to me. Oh, Not for me. no. So he's making a face. Brian, I, I think you need to refresh your memory on the olive and anchovy. Brian is like, you ever see someone where like they just did something really dumb and they want to cry <laughs> and they laugh because it's like, well, I can laugh or cry and I know I just did this to myself. He's yeah. kind of like laugh crying. Yeah. That's how I was with the olive well, and anchovy one. You know how when um someone delivers a baby and they say you forget the the pain i think that's what happened with me with these chips i forgot how bad they were 
You just compared eating a, a potato chip to childbirth. We're either going to get hate mail or someone's going to try you these and be like, You can tweet directly forbidden. at Brian. Mm-hmm. Right. I won't tell you how, but you can, <laughs> you can address Brian directly in your messages to the food scientist. 402 yum food. <laughs> exactly. There you, go. you can text. Uh, no, text I'm not go. saying this is as bad as childbirth, but the... the trauma the repressed feelings i guess are there right right your, your body definitely like you forget about i forgot how bad they were <laughs> it tastes like caviar but it was a little fishy i mean it was a little fishy yeah we've had worse mm. the oganagamak whatever one yeah, of those japanese ones was we very very had fishy worse. yeah oh see uh this was the one the caviar was the one that got me this is the, the one that got me the, the olive, olive and anchovy because i these chips are big and Without thinking, I took a big bite. And <laughs> well, you didn't know. Well, no. I well, know I, I mean, do not like, like the taste of olives almost as much as I hate coffee. Even the picture on here is just nasty. And so I was thinking anchovy more than olive, and I uh, got a big mouthful of olive taste. It's black olive. Yeah. But it's not like the black olive. Well, maybe it is, but it doesn't taste like the black olive like they put on pizzas or in Mexican food. No, it, it tastes was so like, much stronger. It tastes like an olive tapenade. Yeah. Ugh, and those things are awful. I mean, right here on the bag, it says in Spanish. I'm gonna do a literal translation: flavor and texture elevated to the maximum. Mm. Oh, yeah. So like extreme flavor is what. Yeah. It's so saying. you get a big olive punch forward and a fish back. Oh. And I think Brian needs to taste it again because he forgot how, what the caviar tasted like. Can you remember what this I, tastes like? You know, I never got the fish. You better try another one too, then. Okay. You put one oh. back in the bag, Danny. Well, here, take a big one. That will long one. It doesn't smell oh. as bad as it tastes. It doesn't smell nearly as bad as it tastes. There's the olive. See, I get both flavors right up front. I did not forget how bad these were. I knew. I knew. I did it again. These, these are bad. Oh, I, mm-hmm. Okay, who's ready to play FMK? Wait, I'm wait, ready. wait. No, no, oh. no, no, no. Well, I guess, but I wanted to ask, would you rather eat these or a Pop-Tart? <laughs> I... Whoa, the look of confusion on his face no. right now. <laughs> because the pop tart thing came up earlier. I know, I've never seen Danny, uh, you know, silence like I that. I know, it's because it, they're so different, right? Like, well, yes, pop carts are good. <laughs> they don't make me make no, faces. I would say this. I would certainly rather have the center of a pop tart, but it's the, the my problem with pop tarts is the dry outer. So, crust. would you rather eat a pop tart or a handful of these chips? <laughs> I'd, I'd have to think about this. <laughs> Obviously. Um, <laughs> I'm sure that like there's probably a Pop-Tart. Like If it was just the dried up Pop-Tart edges, I would eat no, the we're, chip. We're seeing the whole Pop-Tart. The whole, oh, then, I'd have, then I'd have the whole Pop-Tart. Okay. Because the frosting. If you give me like, a the frosting, frosting flavor, and the filling, I'll yeah. cover it up. I mean, who would eat just the edge? No. Well, I'm saying the edge yeah. is the part that I hate. All right. We, okay, we now we can have this so that I can throw up. And we can't kill them all. I am. No, you got I'm ready to go. So am I. Yeah, I am too. Well, let's just all not go. <laughs> no. Oh, we're going to share our answers. Yeah. Oh, oh but yeah. In, okay. I into it that. Okay. 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 I am going to uh, kill the olive and anchovy because that's just not right on any mm-hmm. level. Mm-hmm. It's like playing Bean Boozled, but it's only the bad ones. Ooh. You know, there's no no chance for a good taste in here at all. It's not like, well, okay, I don't like this flavor, but this flavor kind of helps, and it, you know, mm-mm. no, I am going to uh, frolic with the black truffle. Amy's eating one right yeah, now. Yeah, I, I decided <laughs> I thing. needed to taste one again to be sure of my answer. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll um frolic with the uh, black truffle because um I have to choose one. <laughs> and this kind of feels like a situation where um, I, my pimp is making me and I have to. So. Oh, <laughs> human trafficking and childbirth all in one episode, wow. Brian. Uh, well, I'm just saying, like, I, I don't want to do it, but I'll, you know, for whatever reason, but, I'm gonna, I, I can't even justify why I would, but I have to. So you're going to marry... I'm going to marry the caviar because wow. the caviar is fancy and rich and maybe it will die first, maybe an inheritance. <laughs> I uh, I appreciate that answer. <laughs> I knew you would, <laughs> because you, as we all know, married very wealthy, well, uh, you know, a you know. much much older uh, woman in her eighties. Yeah. 
I might. Um, no, I wouldn't. But definitely marry up. Oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> I'm not ashamed. Um, do you want to go with me? Okay. No. Because I'm not going to... Uh, I'm killing... I'm going to be very similar to Brian. I'm killing the olive and the anchovy because, like I said, olives, especially like a tapenade flavor, is as bad for me as coffee. And I just can't. I just oh. can't. I'm just the picture of the anchovies on here is just like oh. And it's then it's pure me. torture to decide between the caviar and the truffle. No. Because the truffle, the aroma is just so oh. pungent, and the caviar is so fishy, and not like in a good caviar way. I um. What can I do with better? Okay, so since I think the black truffle actually tastes a little better, that I'm going to marry. Oh. Okay, so why are you going to frolic with the caviar I'm going to frolic with the caviar because I your can play with making. the rich. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm good with that. So, like, are you expecting, like, to get paid? No, I'm expecting to be taken out in a nice place. Okay. And then, like... You took me out a little frolic. Yeah, when no. you're with these, you just want me to like, out here. You were walking by the Mandarin Oriental. And <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 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 I got it. it. <laughs> Plus, if I, if I keep the black truffle out in the open air long enough, maybe it won't smell so bad. <laughs> and if I close my nose, Ooh, you know. Yeah. I'm killing the caviar. Okay. That was just a foul, I almost married disgusting it. mess. Like... <laughs> I can sink pretty low, but not even I would go there. And the fact that either of you would, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Because that stuff was gross. And not as bad as the olive and anchovy. False. No. So, I'm actually torn between which one I'm going to frolic with and which one I'm going to marry. Well, which one is your pimp telling you you need to go? Well, here's the deal. I don't like olives. Like, I can't sit and eat olives. Like, it it doesn't work for me. But, you know, I've been on a lot of cruises. Mm-hmm. And they often will have, like, an olive tapenade on the table. And I have found that if you take, like, a crusty, like, a, a nice crusty bread and put, like, just a boatload of butter on it so it gets, like, all fatty... And then you put like a super thin layer of the top and odd. It it actually like gives it a little edge that makes it good. Okay, like I'm we not don't have crusty bread and butter. I'm not there. so I'm not gonna like say that I love olives, but like in narrow circumstances, I have enjoyed the tapenade. I never got the fish flavor. Maybe it's yeah. kind of like anchovies and Caesar salad. People just add like a depth that. I'm just tasting the depth. Well, it's and not, not as fish. fishy as the caviar. No. Yeah, right. I mean, so for me, the aftertaste is more anchovy than anything. Yeah. So on that, um, so there's that, and then like, so I I love all things truffle, whether they're fake or not. So I, I kind of like them both. Um, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna frolic with the olive and anchovy because okay. that's the one that like I won't admit I like to in public, but then like when we get back. And I have a chance to have a little, like, get some in my mouth, I'll do it. And that's where you should be ashamed of yourself. Well, you know. Oh, because these were disgusting. It's like, it's like a bad side piece, right? Like, you don't want anyone to know you have it. That's, like, that's the, that's the epitome of a frolic, though, right? Yep. You don't want anyone to know you're kind of ashamed, but, like, you sneak some every now and then. No, a frolic is just you're frolicking. Like that could be in the park it holding could be well, skipping. But when you're married to the the black truffle. Well we never said that we're committing adultery. We're just saying, you know, you're I'm settling just saying, down with You frolic first and you marry with somebody else. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying that uh, this would be like the frolic, like um, that nobody really knows about. Like you've got like this thing going on, but you do have a thing going on. That's that's the frolic that I'm having with with these, and then uh, so I guess I'm gonna marry the the black truffle. But I you did like them though. Yeah, right? you know what I liked. No it. qualms. I liked it from the start, and you know what? Even the smell. Even you know I was kind of like I know what's coming. Like you smell it and you're like, oh, that's a lot, but that's legit. <laughs> you know, like that's 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 real. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna marry that. 
Okay. Can I tell you something the Olive Tamponade story reminded me of? She shuddered. I don't know if you noticed, but she was over there, like, shaking <laughs> violently. I was um, out with this guy. Oh, God. <laughs> Did and, you frolic? No. Well, it's a different no, podcast. Different, different story. It's just food-related. <laughs> Uh-huh. And first time at this this restaurant, and he got something that had olive tamponade as part of the spread of the sandwich. Mm-hmm. He took a bite. He actually spit it out. And this is the first time we're out together. He's like, tastes like feet. And whenever I hear no. olive tamponade, that's what I think of. <laughs> so wait, did this guy get a second date? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was honest. I don't like olive tamponade. I knew that. I I thought he did, and that's why he ordered this. I mean, there's way more on the sandwich than than that. <laughs> Well, there right. you go. Well, hey, everyone, make sure you got to find our YouTube channel, Food Scientist Podcast. Next week, we're, we have a special week. Amy, did you want to tell them about that? Yeah, we're going to record and live stream all at the same time. So yes. the whole episode will be on live stream. So yes. like us on YouTube. Click the little, Brian calls it the, the dinner, dinner bell, bell. Yeah. so that your app will notify you when we're live. Yep. And then you can hear our podcast as we record it. We're going to taste you the foods as we record it. Watch our reactions. Yeah, and interact with us as we're talking yeah. about yep. it. Too. We're just going to go the whole nine yards and try that out. You'll so, see Brian yeah. try to get um, the, the chocolate shell to solidify in his mouth. Things and, like that. And you'll <laughs> find out why Amy and I sit on opposite sides of the table. <laughs> Yes. So, you know, you may have noticed we've been doing different things. Like last week, we did an actual video. We still had the regular podcast, but we also had, we recorded it and released it as a video. So you got to see us and hear us or whatever. So, yeah, find that YouTube and check us out. And if you don't do that, it'll still be an all place it's your regular podcast. So. Yeah. And, and just thank you for listening, however you listen or watch. Yeah, yeah. we love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a great week, everyone. <laughs>